Hi, I'm Reverend Dr. Terry Gallagher, and welcome to another session of Come and See, where we look at the intersection of faith and technology. Today we're on the lakeshore. Yeah, you know, I grant you it's a real big lake, but today's segment we want to talk about what's the possibility of renewable energy from large bodies of water. There's a couple reasons for this. Because the sun hitting a dark surface, the lakes absorb a lot of heat, and heat is energy. And so whether it's the lakes or oceans, particularly the oceans, there's tremendous energies to be tapped, and the benefit of it is it's very constant. And so when we tap the energy from large bodies of water, we don't have the interruptions for when the sun's not shining or the wind's not blowing. How do we do this? Well, there's a couple of different technologies that do this. First of all, from waves, all right? When we tap the energy from waves, we put buoys out there that float on the wave, all right? And as they go up and they go down, they compress air and push it through a turbine. And when they go down, they compress air and push it through the turbine the other way. And they generate electricity. This was a principle invented, oddly enough, in 1947 by a Japanese engineer. And so it's a technology that's 80 years old and people are starting to investigate it and use it because waves in the ocean are constant, right? And so we could benefit from it. The other source that we can talk about is offshore wind turbines. Now, wind turbines capture energy and it varies by the cube of the wind speed. And because wind has more energy over large bodies of water, the winds are faster. And so you can capture a lot more energy. And we see that offshore wind turbines are growing by leaps and bounds, particularly, well, Scotland is embracing them up in the North Sea, but other areas. We're seeing our first few wind turbines launch off of Rhode Island. And so we could do this in the Great Lakes too. But here's a third source of energy from great bodies of water, and that is the tides. You know, the moon pulls tides, pulls tidal waves, and causes great amounts of water to rush in and then to rush out. You place turbines in those streams and you can generate a great deal of energy. So from those three technologies, we can power the earth if we were to approach it right. Now, most of those are still evolving, and so the costs haven't come down. We'll show the charts on what the cost is versus what the benefit is, but look at the tremendous amount of carbon that we can reduce by using the energy that's in large bodies of water, whether it's the Great Lakes or it's the oceans. All right? Wind, wave, tides, all of those are tremendous sources. There's another source which is just being tapped into now just on an experimental basis off of Hawaii, which is you can tap the heat energy through heat exchangers and have refrigeration systems that run off it. But that's brand new technology. We'll see that in the future. Right now, the three most viable ways of using great electricity generation from big bodies of water are wind, wave, and tidal. All right? Those are technologies that are fully developed that we can use right now. You know, in the gospel stories, there are several times, but particularly in the gospel loop, where it describes Jesus taking his disciples on a boat and he falls asleep and a great storm arises and the disciples are threatened, they're scared for their lives. And they wake up Jesus, Jesus gets up and calms the storms. And he turns to the disciples and what does he say? Where is your faith? Right now we're at a very turbulent time where we have climate denial going on and it looks like for those of us that understand the science and the predictions, that we're in a terrible state. We're in a tremendous storm. And so the question really is, where is our faith? God's Spirit is alive and at work in the world, calling us forward to change the renewable energies, to use the technologies that God has given us of renewable energy in His creation. Use the wind and the waves and the tides. We can do this. Where is our faith? It's time for communities of faith to awaken, to be the voice of God calling us to change. We can do this. See you next time. I come and see when we explore another hope for the future that arises from the intersection of faith and technology. Come and see.
faith is not in knowing it's a willingness to learn and faith is found in loving when there's nothing in return so come and see come and see around the what could be come with me come with me there's so much more to know so come and see there's so much more to know so come and see